Hello everyone, welcome back to another airport update. I know that the last airport update I made was in July, so what month is it, October? This update acts as August, September, and October, just combined into one. So, that's this update. Also, for the next update, I am starting the route submissions that I used to do like a year ago, uh, where you can submit your own custom route and it'll be in the next airport update. So I made a Google form for that. The link will be in the description and I'll be starting that from now on. I'll be including it every month. So now I'll be doing airport updates once per month. Um, school started like a month ago, so I've kind of just been busy with that. That's why I just completely disregarded airport updates. And I don't know why I didn't make one in August. Um, so if you want to make a custom route for the airport updates, make sure to fill out that form in the description and it'll make the airport updates more interesting from here on. Also, I still have some planes grounded, um, American Airlines planes, they're over here. They're right there. Um, I mean, not all of like international service has resumed, so I'm just gonna keep those over there for now. Also, I got this light to work. Well, not that I got it to work, I just plugged it in, as you can see over here. I haven't officially wired it in with the lighting. I kind of just run, ran an extension cord. So I did say that in the last airport update, I would have this light included. It does make the lighting a lot better over here. Anyways, let's get into this airport update. First up here is an American 767-300ER turning onto the runway for its final departure out of pit as it's being retired. Since American Airlines is speeding up their retirement of aircraft. 767 is one of them. So this one's just leaving the airport and I'm not sure whether to put it in future updates. So let me know. Next up is a Delta ERJ 170 about to land from New York LaGuardia. And underneath the Delta is a Southwest 737-700 holding short of 2-1 right. An American A321 with sharklets is taxing to the runway for Los Angeles. Next is a United ERJ-175, also taxing out to the runway for Houston. Then over there is a JetBlue A320. It'll focus there. JetBlue A320 will be heading out to Fort Lauderdale. Then here at Terminal A, first is the United. United 737-900 Eco Skies, waiting at the gate for its next flight to Denver. Then at the end of the terminal is a JetBlue ERJ-190, which is boarding passengers for Boston. Then right next to that is a Alaska 737-900 pushing back for Seattle. Okay, next to the two Deltas, the first on the right is a Delta MD-90 waiting at the gate before the flight to Minneapolis. And Delta is retiring the MD fleets, of course. So let me know down below if the, in the comments if you think I should take these off of the airport updates or keep them on since they are being retired. I'm not entirely sure. I never know what to do when this happens. So just let me know down below so I can get your guys' feedback. And next to that is the Delta A319 getting bags loaded for Salt Lake City. Next is an American A320 pulling into the gate from Cancun. Then as we go down the terminal, first here is an American A321, the US Airways livery, getting bags unloaded from Phoenix. Next is an American A319S, it's getting refueled for the flight to San Diego. Then all the way at the end there, next to the JetBlue, is a CRJ200 getting passengers loaded for Harrisburg. Then next is an American A321 getting bags loaded for San Francisco, and the bags are just on the other side there. Then next here is an American ERJ170 with bags coming up to the gate for the flight to Cincinnati. And here are the bags. So at the international terminal, it's pretty empty um, just because obviously there's not a international flights right now. So I added the uh, 787 back just because there's some international flights. And this 787 here is getting catered and refueled for London Heathrow. Then all the way at the end there, I figured I'd throw in a smaller model, is a 757-200 getting all passengers boarded for San Juan, Puerto Rico. So I guess that's kind of an international flight. Then on the other side of the terminal, I just threw in a 737-800, which is waiting at the gate until the next flight to Fort Myers. Figured I'd throw in a domestic flight because if you put all the flights together at the main domestic terminal, figured you can imagine that would be a lot of people. So then right here is just a United 757-300. I have parked at the gate. No reason at all. Just figured I would put that there. Next is a Frontier A321 boarding all passengers for Orlando. 
Then here is a Southwest 737-700 fueling for the return flight to Chicago Midway. So next here at the warehouse is a Qatar A350-900. I think I put this in the last update, but it is loading medical equipment for Doha. I like putting this model in because it's an international carrier I probably wouldn't be putting in right now, considering that it's Qatar. Uh, but I can put it in for cargo reasons, which is nice. Then over here, over here is my other American CRJ200. As you can see, these back wing, wing like tips uh, fell off. Um, I've had this issue before, but I think I was just moving around the models and they fell off. I just hot glue it back on. It will focus, I don't think so. Anyways, I just hot glue them back on. So I just figured I'd do that for the next update. So here's all the planes that are still grounded. We have an American 777-300ER, 777-200, and then A330-300 and 200. Um, I think that's it for this entire update. Okay, I'm wearing something different because this is actually the next day. My camera battery died yesterday, but make sure to comment down below what you think about those two uh, models that if I should retire them, the MD-90 right there, and then the American 767-300 right here. Also, also don't forget to create a custom route down below in the description is the form if you would like to do that for the next airport update and I'll be continuing those. These models right here are not in the up or the form. Also, these grounded models are not. We have pretty much all of the international carrier carriers, but uh, Air Canada will be in the next update. Uh, ignore uh, Putin right there. So that's basically it for this update. I hope to get some new models soon. Um, I feel like I could be filling up this airport more with some domestic American Airlines models. Um, so hopefully I can get more of those soon. So anyways guys, thank you for watching and I will catch you guys in the next airport update.